Good afternoon, it's David Schlothauer with a brief tropical update on Tropical Storm Brett and Tropical Depression number 4 for Tuesday afternoon, June 22nd. As always, my thoughts in this video are mine alone and making any decisions regarding Tropical Storm Brett and Tropical Depression 4, consult the National Hurricane Center and your local officials for the best information for where you're at. So taking a look at the close-in, zoomed-in, visible satellite imagery provided by TropicalTidbits.com at Levi Cowan, we can see that the structure of Brett has changed pretty substantially since this morning and is super, super elongated and really just pretty much decoupled almost with a lot of the deep convection pretty much far on the south uh, southeastern and northeastern side of the circulation in fact if we take a look at the um, low level clouds here we can see that the center is now just passing over Barbados right now you're seeing some strong winds nearing 60 miles an hour you're also seeing a rapid increase in strong winds on some of the islands like St. Lucia in, uh, including for portions there of uh, Dominica as well as Martinique Island St. Kitts and Nevis uh, actually um, some of the other islands here to the south this is because the circulation is getting closer and therefore the winds are going to be picking up but oddly enough there's not a whole lot of precipitation if any at all because the circulation is within some drier air now there is still some decent outflow as we can see here with the feathery white theorist milky white that is going off towards the west kind of spreading in all quadrants of the circulation here which indicate that at least at 200 millibars there's some pretty good healthy outflow uh, features within the system but the problem that we're having here is there is some shear and it is over 30 to 40 knots already and it might not look a whole lot of shear but if we look at the um, cloud filaments here off into the easternmost Caribbean, we can see right in here some of the thunderstorms, they billow up and they collapse and they leave these feathery white seers. They're actually moving in out of the westerly direction and the component here with strong easterly flow through the system, through the steering layer at 850 millibars, this is actually generating a whole lot of shear and dry air. Even so, there's not a whole lot of upper level winds, at least at say 300 millibars, undercutting the serious outflow here. So indeed, while it doesn't look a whole lot of shear, it is pretty substantial to say the least. In such a way, we are seeing a whole... Um, asymmetrical appearance here where the system is very well almost decoupled and very weighted on the eastern side with a lot of the moisture and thunderstorm activity well east of the island still even so the center is just getting ready to make landfall over uh, some of these uh, lesser antilles so bread is forecast to move across the lesser antilles this evening and tonight as a strong tropical storm a hurricane watch and a tropical storm warning are in effect for saint lucia and a tropical storm warning is in effect for barbados saint vincent and the grenadines martinique and dominica there is a risk for flooding from heavy rainfall strong winds and dangerous waves along the coast within the warning area so again even so, like I said, that there is no rain right now over some of the islands or most of the islands um, because a lot of the deep convection is well weighted on the eastern side. Probably give it into the morning hours and there is going to be quite a bit of rainfall, strong winds, and some storm surge problems. Even so, the, the front portion of the system, the head way it is, is not bringing any impacts. This look at the latest 5 o'clock advisory from the National Hurricane Center on Tropical Storm Brett. Again, we can see Tropical Storm and Hurricane Watches out right now uh, for the islands, including for Barbados. So again, a naked swirl doesn't always mean good news for these islands. There will be some storm surge, maybe some flooding due to so the storm surge, along to go with some light to moderate rainfall at first, becoming pretty heavy overnight tonight into tomorrow, and might last a little bit even after the system has went way past the islands when it gets over here. It's going to leave a lot of moisture behind it over the next couple of days. The system will really weaken and open up into an open wave trough probably as early as Saturday afternoon once it gets into the Central Caribbean. That's because the shear is going to be um, strengthening even further. 
that's a quick up or yeah we're still looking at the models here so we can see uh the european model indicates that the system will try to decouple as early as probably saturday um so some of the moisture could linger over some of the islands here in green take note of that the brown is all the dry air that is being forced into the circulation because we have that shear and that really just kind of really falls apart now that we did take a look quickly at tropical storm brett again it's not as big of a deal it's still a big deal but we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on it instead we're now going to be taking a look at tropical depression at number four yes that's this is the fourth name storm of the 2023 season but it is our third name storm well it could get named if it does it would be cindy but our third name storm let alone in June and in the main development region, which concludes a ironically active period still continuing in the Atlantic. So this look at the visible satellite imagery, and it is still sheared. We're still seeing um, a very lopsided system. And when I mean by lopsided, we're missing a lot of the deep convection here on the eastern side. We're not able to get these thunderstorms right here to wrap on the up shear side. That is shear from the east here to be able to get an outflow going in the upper tropospheric um, layer. Therefore, the system's not able to further strengthen and further organize. It's trying to, but every time it happens, we get some dry air that gets shoved into the system with that shear that's right around 10 to 20 knots right now. And that shear is gonna stay with us now. It looks to be a little longer than what we previously thought. So when we loop this through, you can see the low level center is right here with winds coming in out of the west here, out of the southerly direction here, wrapping all the way around here on the northern side from the east, and then kind of coming down out of the north. So this is where we do have our low level center, the lowest pressure um, seen with this tropical depression. But further organization is anticipated overnight tonight when we reach the convective maximum period, which typically happens during the overnight hours. Looking at the water vapor imagery, when we take a look at this on the satellite floater, uh, there is some dry air that is now developing and getting in the way of the system. So this can make the forecast a bit challenging, but at the same time, as long as we have this easterly shear, this drier air may not be shoved in at all into tropical depression number four as it continues to head off in this general direction. Now, if the system does fail, even so, it doesn't become any better organized. This system will be moving off towards the west-northwest and off towards the northwest because our ridge is going to be changing shape over the next couple of days. The low level steering flow, that is, will be changing. So that's a look at the water vapor imagery. And again, we're not seeing much in the way of outflow. I would like to see more outflow for the system to be um, dubbed a tropical storm. So when we take a look here at the NHC on tropical storm 90 uh, or tropical storm number four, that is get confused here sometimes, we can see there is literally no chances of tropical storm like conditions on the islands as of right now, which is good. Less than 5% chance that is over the British and US Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, much of these islands not going to be impacted at the moment, that is. Things could change in a hurry, so that's why we make these updates as often as we can possible on the channel. But for right now, there is a less than 5% chance of tropical storm-like conditions on any of the Lesser Antilles for the time being. Even the Cone of Uncertainty does miss the islands completely, which is better confidence that there will not be any significant impacts on the islands here of the Lesser Antilles. Even the Greater Antilles, not likely to see anything out of this. But I like to talk about this because there is some wrinkles in the forecast, which we'll look at here in just a second. But we can see the system will become a tropical storm by tonight, perhaps, and remain a tropical storm all the way through, perhaps, Monday with winds reaching 60 miles an hour, which is what the NHC really uh, illustrates in their forecast. So when we take a look now at the European model, uh, as far as tropical depression um, number four, we can see there is this tongue of dry air, and that's what the satellite imagery indicated. If we just go back here, this is being modeled pretty well on the Euro. See this tongue right here outlined that is the uh, outlining area of dry air in the upper troposphere or in the deep layer. 
And that dry air might make some wrinkles in the forecast because any little shear we get out of the west might shove that in and might cause a little bit of abnormalities with the system. So going out to uh, day two, we can see a little bit of the dry air tries to wrap in. But again, because we have some easterly shear that is in place, this drier air is not really going to be forced in or shoved in. And instead, we have this nice good pocket of moisture. Now, the reason why the system does not intensify in a hurry is probably because of how fast it's actually moving. It's moving at about 15 miles an hour. And when we do take a look at our 200 millibar layer here, there in, again is some shear at 200 millibars. And what I mean by that, we don't have an outflow in all quadrants like we want here. We don't, uh, we want good established outflow. And when we take a look at another product here, we're gonna look at the GFS, look at this um, product system. Uh, if we see it right in here, there is probably about there, there is a hint that there might be a little bit of a trough that does encroach here. So we do have um, 200 millibar flow coming in this direction, and we have a flow that's coming out of the southwesterly direction and a lower layer. So when we actually play our skew T sounding here, we can see there is some evidence of shear. We have flow out of the east, and then our winds back in towards the southwesterly because of that trough. So when we combine this, there is some shear here roughly at about 15 to 20 knots that does increase. And so there is going to be some wrinkles and eventually that shear could dramatically increase to near 30 or 40 knots. Could even decouple the system perhaps quite surprisingly on the GFS model. And you could really see really not even a surface footprint of any circulation at all on that. When you look at the European model. There is a little bit of better circulation, but it is dubbed inside the drier air layer with a lot of decoupling moisture off towards the east. So this is a very marked uncertainty forecast as far as if the system could um, stay together quite well. We haven't seen any uptrends in the models today of tropical depression number four. Now we do have some better guidance here. We have a lot of the ensembles of the hurricane operational run that do keep the system again, its point of origin away from most of the islands. So again, there is no fear of any landfall at the moment yet. And when we take a look at our intensity forecast, we can see that right now the intensity has been lowered from the last one. So given the fact, based on my data, not the NHC's data, my intensity forecast is going to be fairly low here. Probably winds that max out maybe at 40 miles an hour, maybe 45 at the most. So really not a big deal, not a big concern to any life or property um, at the moment, or no danger to the islands, uh, given with what we're seeing here, which would be good news, because I think um, it's a bit too early yet to see any landfalls for the time of the year that we're in for the 2023 Atlantic hurricane season. All right, so just a full review on what we talked about. We talked about tropical, uh, tropical storm Brett and tropical depression number four. As always, Please make sure you do heed my advice because even so, again, we are not looking at any heavy rainfall at the moment on these islands. We are sure seeing 65 mile an hour tropical storm, even 60 miles an hour perhaps, impacting the islands. There have been some reports of some storm surge flooding already and some heavy rainfall on, or some not heavy rainfall, but uh, some spray coming off the ocean making it look like it's raining. So make sure... Um, you do um, stay up to date on my YouTube channel, but this will be the last advisory update on Tropical Storm Brett as it will be past the islands by tomorrow morning. Well, that's going to do it with this video. Be sure you share, like, and subscribe for latest information on the tropics near your area. All right, that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching.